Hey guys, what's up? This is Sean Heather and in this video we are going to do a benchmarking test comparison between Huawei P20 Pro and Oppo R17 Pro or RX17 Pro smartphone. In terms of pricing, both of these devices are in the same segment right now. But if you're talking about the hardware, Huawei P20 Pro is a bit better compared to Oppo R17 Pro because it comes with Kirin 970 processor and Oppo R17 Pro comes with Snapdragon 710 that is as good as Snapdragon 835 processor that was launched two years back but Kirin 970 is 2018's flagship processor. Talking about the RAM, Oppo R17 Pro is better compared to Huawei P20 Pro because it comes with 8GB RAM and P20 Pro comes with 6GB RAM. And if you're talking about the software, P20 Pro is better compared to R17 Pro because P20 Pro is running on Android 9 while Oppo R17 Pro is still running on Android 8.1. So the benchmarking applications we got today here, they are Entity Benchmarking, Basemark X, Basemark OS and the Geekbench 4. We have already performed all of these tests and we are just going to have a quick look on the benchmarking test score and we will do a quick comparison as well. So let's just start it. So first of all, let's start with Antutu Benchmarking. It's the most popular benchmarking application. Oppo R17 Pro scored 155,279 and Huawei P20 Pro scored 204,648. So you can see that Huawei P20 Pro is the winner. It has scored nearly 30% more points compared to R17 Pro. And if you go to the individual test score result here, you can compare the test score result of CPU, GPU, UX and memory. And as you can see that in all of these four tests, performance of Huawei P20 Pro is better compared to Oppo R17 Pro. And especially the huge margin is coming in the GPU performance. The difference is a bit low in other three tests, but in GPU, the difference is huge. But our concern is the overall score. And in that, the winner is P20 Pro. Now let's have a look on Basemark X. It's the GPU benchmarking test. So basically it gives the idea about the GPU capability. So you can see that R17 Pro scored 40,801 and P20 Pro scored 42,196. So once again, P20 Pro is winner in Basemark X as well, but the difference is not so much as you can see here only around 1400 points difference we are getting between these two devices but still the winner is p20 pro and now let's have a look on base mark os2 so this test is divided in four parts as well so overall oppo r17 pro scored 2765 and wabi p20 pro scored 3273 so once again the winner is p20 pro and you can have a look on the individual test score result once again as well. You can see that in system and web browsing, the scores are pretty much same, but, but once again, the difference is coming in GPU and also a bit in memory. Surprisingly, even though R17 Pro comes with 8 GB RAM compared to 6 GB RAM of P20 Pro, it's actually P20 Pro that has scored more points with respect to R17 Pro. So once again in this test as well the winner is p20 pro and let's have a look on the last test for today that's geekbench 4 this one is divided in two parts cpu and compute and once again cpu is divided in single core and multi-core so oppo r17 pro scored 1845 in single core and 5901 in multi-core talking about p20 pro it is scored 1861 in single core and 6793 in multi core. So, in single core, the scores are pretty much same as you can see, very minute difference, but in multi core, the difference is a bit more. But once again, in both of them, overall performance of Huawei P20 Pro is better. And now let's go back and let's have a look on compute test result. So, R17 Pro scored 6746 and Huawei P20 Pro scored 9,365. So in this test as well, the compute test of Geekbench 4, performance of Huawei P20 Pro is better. So in all of these four tests, Huawei P20 Pro scored 
more points compared to R17 Pro as it comes with a bit better hardware specs and also a bit better Android software version. But Oppo R17 Pro is also a nice device and Qualcomm Snapdragon 710 is also a very nice processor. As I said, it is as good as a Snapdragon 835. But as you can see that P20 Pro is going to perform slightly better compared to Oppo R17 Pro. So that's all for now friends. Thanks for watching this video. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, subscribe the channel, hit the bell icon to get the notification for future uploads and I'll see you guys next time in another video. Have a nice day.